Hello and welcome back to LA Noir, and you're looking at the case notes for the Quartermoon Murders, which was the grand finale of the Werewolf serial killer case. Yeah, this guy had been going around sort of stomping on young women, leaving their bodies scattered around, and there had been some debate as to whether it was the same person or just a bunch of copycat killings, but it turned out to be the one guy. And it was a little bit of an anticlimax because, you know, the suspect when we caught them wasn't anyone who'd really sort of, you know, drawn attention to themselves. Though I have to admit that looking back over the past cases, there were various clues if you'd been paying attention, which admittedly I hadn't. So it shouldn't have come as a complete surprise when the murderer was revealed. Anyhow, as a result of all that good work, Cole is now being promoted to Vice. But unfortunately, I think we're going to have to leave Rusty behind, Rusty our partner, and then team up with this new guy, who's a rather unsavoury gentleman in a rather bizarre looking suit. Anyhow, let's kick off. Oh, army flashback. Breathe out, kid. You'll go purple. I'm scared, Sarge. Everybody's scared, kid. Anyone who says he isn't is a damn liar. How many times have you been in combat, Sarge? I was with Raider Battalion on Peleliu my first time. Was it bad? It's always bad. Will this be bad? As bad as it gets, kid. Oh, is that Kelco? But you stick by the Marine next to you, and he will stick by you. So, some of the guys, they aren't very friendly, Sarge. They've lost a lot of their friends in the last couple of days, kid. They think if they don't get to know you, that they won't have to grieve for you if you get killed. They're wrong. It doesn't work that way. Don't worry. No Marine in this company will let you down. Right, I think that was Kelco. He was a guy who trained to be a Marine officer alongside Cole. Or the Black Caesar. Yeah, and they had a falling out and Kelco was all kicked out of officer training. So that's interesting. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Oh, yeah. Take a seat. <laughs> a special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. Good. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Wow, he's cross. Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it! Yes, sir. All right, not a popular person, apparently. That is the weird detective, though. And that suit is awful. I think you'll agree. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. Yeah, I did too. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? Yeah, this was touted as a promotion. The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. But I think homicide is the prime desk, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero detective. I've just noticed Cole's suit is almost as bad. Let's rouse well, some hop heads. <laughs> What's this two-tone nonsense, honestly? Um, right, you can drive. Oh, this looks very LA, doesn't it? Really picked a prize shithole for our first date. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try and sell the place. Yeah, we're about halfway through the game. And I will be finishing it, obviously, because it's very good. But we've got Conan Exiles coming back in a few days' time. So my production of videos might uh, might decline somewhat or become less frequent. So let's have a look. I'm not sure what I'm meant to be. It's up the stairs, detective. Oh, up the stairs, thank Around you. Around the corner. Last door on the left. I was about to say, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Last door on the left. This one here. I don't get I'm it. I'm all done. You're sure. Oh, now. up there, is it? Did he say turn right? I missed that, perhaps. Oh, the door's open. 
Yeah, I think we've got 11 more cases, including this one, to complete. Carruthers. Phelps, I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same syrets in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants a license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? He didn't want to be a vice cop, did he? He got taken off homicide for this. <laughs> Righty-ho. Um, new POIs. These clowns lived on popcorn? Popcorn, eh? Must have been messy eaters. Oh, something it's all there. over the floor. Uh, all right, lots of stuff. Just look at this. Look at this cup. Oh, yeah, look, something. Black Caesar from the joint across the street. So is that popcorn or coffee? I can look at it further. Looks like something Never was taped same, to the right? bottom of the cup. Oh, which was... Oh, I see. That's probably drugs taped to the bottom. That's interesting. Uh, let's look at the middle thing. All right, look at that then. All right, so that's um, what should we call it—a fruit machine? Some kind of fruit, a bell, and win. Strange that's doodle. I think I've seen it all. Yeah, that's off a fruit machine, isn't it? Put it down. And what's the middle thing? No, all right. I thought we could pick up the middle thing. We obviously can't. Um, it's just the two things then. I'm not going to look at the other cup. Yeah, all right. He was a cornet player, wasn't he? So that's sheet music, isn't it? All right, okay. Now I tingled again then. Another day, another dollar. Was I meant to interact with that more? No. Because usually if you fully interacted with a clue, you don't get the tingle when you walk past it. Look at this again. That's fine. Let's put it down. Is this something else? Come, come away. Oh, you see, I'm doing it again. There's nothing on the floor. Oh, that's weird. Loads and loads of popcorn. Come on, tingling all over the place. Look at this. There you go. Look at that. Street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. So that's the army heroin or morphine. Is that no cooking or preparation? Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Okay. Are we going to look at the cup? No, we're not. <laughs> I wanted to see if there's any more tape underneath it. Something here. Yeah, let's look. A bit heavy for an empty cup. Come on, look underneath. There it is. They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. Gosh. Sterile needle poison, it said there. Look around. What are you up to there? Getting in my way, that's what you're doing. Let's have another look. Right, is there anything about the corpses? Come on. One serrette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. So let's look at his arms. Needles, I suppose. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. 
All right, nothing too serious there. Look at his head. No, no, his head. His head felt. There you go. Oh, nothing there. Is there anything in his pockets? Here we go. No, 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 bad. Bad detective. There is something in his pocket. How do I get to it? Right, look at his arm. Right, more needles. Looks like it was always going to end this way. Find anything interesting? I want to look in his pocket. There we go. Right, Cornelius Eustace Tyree. They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Hmm, okie dokie, let's look over here. You catch all the good ones, fellas. Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? So JJ always listens to 275 FM. That is unusual, isn't it? There's nothing else to see here. Put it down. Pop, pop, pop. Right, I'm going to have a quick scoot around. But I think we've looked at everything, really. Oh, he said that. <laughs> Another cup. Here we go, zoom in. Another special order from the Caesar. Are we going to look at the bottom? Nah. You'd think they put the popcorn in a bin, wouldn't you, really? And this. No, we're just looking at it. They're not going to play us a tune. And the trumpet, or the cornet. Oh, I could look at the music. Yeah, I came back to this table. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. Yeah, I kept walking past the table and getting the tingle. So I figured there must be something I'd missed. So this is all in my head. Music by Andrew Hale and Simon Hale. Is there anything to look at there? No? Alright, we look to the cup. Right, one last scoot round, and I'll stop. There's something there. Come on, I had you then. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. Can I look around? Is that it? Oh, something on the floor. A lot of clues in here. Lots of money. Another day, another dollar. Look at that. Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. Okay, and now this. Hmm. A small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Payout on 746. I, I don't know what that is. That's some sort of lottery. Right. Never the same, are they? The Emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. <laughs> okay. My partner, whose name I've forgotten, seems very eager to get out of here now. Now I've actually found all the clues. So we're going to Black Caesar over the road. And they do have some explaining to do, don't they? Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work over time. I can't actually see it. Oh, hang on. It. Don't get killed. You're a true inspiration to us all, Let's run Roy. across. <laughs> now, where is this place? I can't see it. Oh, there it is on the corner. Let's go down. Oh, right, it's a little booth sort of thing. There we go. Yeah, the Black Caesar Food Hut. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand of... over the popcorn, numbskull, before we <laughs> kick the door in. Okay. 
He's a runner, isn't he? He's a runner. Get that son of a bitch. Yeah, come on. We knew it. Run, run, run. Yeah, SPQR, which was written above the door there. Which was written on the shop sign. That was the, the badge of the Roman legions, I think. I think it means in the name of Rome and the Senate. Something like that. These chases are normally fairly easy. I've just got to get close enough to tackle him. That's it, that's it. Alright, okay. He's put on a spur there. I like this music. God oh, damn it. life I would be absolutely knackered by this point. Where did he go? Oh crud. Eddie help me out man they're trying to kill me you gotta help me out. What the hell going on here? It's detectives. That too? Is he blind? You picked the wrong cop. Okay let's get him. Animals. Damn it I keep forgetting. All right if you really want to dance. He's getting out of fight. All right can we knock him on the head? Go on get out of it. Uh, grapple, grapple. Headbutt, damn it. Oh, he's tough, this guy. Let's just whack him. I'm not doing another grapple. Let's just belt him. Right, I can probably do a grapple now. There we go. Phew. Gotta soften him up first. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Well, those burgers must be well done by now. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. <laughs> Not at all sinister. Uh, right, let's have a look. I got a tingle here. Didn't even see that. All right, another musical instrument. Ah. Should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. The Blue Room Jazz Club, we've been there quite a few times. Right, oh, issued by Jermaine Jones. Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. Good, good. Yeah, and both Cole and his partner are very familiar with the club. Because the partner has some sort of relationship with one of the singers at the club. Some German woman. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. I right, so that's nothing. Then we got the muffle down here, whatever it's called. Yeah, there we go, there's something. There we go. Ooh. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Right, so it's a numbers racket. So it's an illegal lottery. Okie dokie. Put it down there. Come out. So lots and lots of crime in this little cafe. Got something there. Gold Dawn. Oh, the eggs. I don't think so. <laughs> We've seen Gold Dawn eggs before, but they're never interesting. And neither is this bowl. I don't think this is going to help us. No. Go, go on, go on. God damn it, look at this. Zoom, zoom. Morphine. It might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. Damn. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Paul. All right, so our partner is encouraging us. Once we've discovered all the clues, you pipes up, which is fairly new. Don't think any of my other partners did that, unless I never noticed. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. Right. Uh, morphine overdose victims. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... 
I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black eyed peas. Oh, bullshit. Um, can we accuse him? Because we, we've got all the drugs in there, for God's sakes. And we can prove he's lying. Let's accuse. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Uh, yeah, we can. We've got morphine for distribution. You look at him. It never really tells you anything. Let's do that. Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. Right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two bounce, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. Ooh. Right, and the slips are covered. And that's quite a good tip I picked up online is that you can always back out of an accusation. So you shouldn't be sort of too shy about accusing people because you can always, you know, put it into reverse gear. Let's look at him again. Much the same. Number slips. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? Uh, God, what to do? Um, good copping. Yeah. Yeah. Do you run the numbers from here or from the blue room? You ever been to the blue room? That's for rich white folks who want to listen to the black man's music if they're scared to be seen in Negro town. That's not true. See you at the station, Fleetwood. Oh. But you're going to help me, right? No. Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Well, why would we help him out? He wasn't really cooperative, was he? Righty ho. Oh, this is a phone. Should we use the phone for something? Let's get in there. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, Detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, I was wondering if I should have accused him about those betting slips. All those lottery tickets there. But at the same time, I mean, I don't think I could connect him to that trumpet. There's nothing to prove that he owned the trumpet, was there? So anyway, um, what are we going to do? Let's look at locations. Ah, oh, the numbers operation, Jones's booking agency. Let's do the numbers first. Gambling den and lottery operation. Let's go there. Nice looking car, isn't it? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Yeah, Phelps has been going to the Blue Room to watch that German jazz singer. Yeah, we've seen him do that a couple of times. Right, that's got a gold doorknob so we can get in there. Uh, do we just walk in? I presume so. Anyone home? <laughs> Oh dear, there's nothing here. Let's go upstairs. Shouldn't we have our guns out? Hi guys. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. The name's Marilyn Odie. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you. I pay my kick to the Watts, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? <laughs> Stay where you are while we look around. He sort of gave up quite a lot of information quite quickly then, didn't he? 
Now I saw a machine over there. There we go. A fruit machine. So can we get one of these going? Um, right, let's look at our notebook first. Look at the clues. Um, strange doodle. There we go. Cherry's Bell Win. Come out. Let's interact with this. Go. So we want to hold the middle one. And then do it again. No, we'll do it again. And again. Okay, so hold that. And again. Here we go. Wow. Look at all this. Look at all the morphine there. Damn it. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. I've just noticed there's tons and tons of bloody morphine there. <laughs> Come on, we know what it is. Zoom in. Go on. Go on. You've got to hold it just right. With this quantity, we're looking at a high-level trafficking charge. Oh, there's a ton of it. Maybe habit forming. Say that again. Oh, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better God start talking. Damn it. Get after him. Oh, another no. chase. Give it up, Artie. Pop, pop, pop. Right, is he going to go in a car or something? Oh, here, here he is, here he is. So I often get two chases. He wants a five star goddamn way. There we go, got him. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> thought you were him. There he is. Stop right there, Artie, or I will shoot. Yeah, that diner looked like the one out of um, Pulp Fiction. I'm doing my best, doing my best. Ah, oh, Lord. So get close enough. Lock him up and throw away the key. <laughs> there he is, officer. Come on. Very soon now. What are you trying to do, Merlin? Come on. Tackle. Tackle him. Oh, all right, then don't do. Go around here. I almost had him. How long you could keep one of these chases going for? Just forever, I suppose. Get him, get him! Go on, punch him! No? I feel cheated. I don't think I really caught him. I think he just stopped. All right, all right, relax, motherfucker. You got me. Nice wand, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy, but don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. Is it hollow? Oh. Let's investigate. Yeah. Adi has Jose Ramez in his pocket. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. Right, Mr. Jose Ramez, Ramez promises to pay Merlon Otti Esquire the sum of $231 and no cents. I'm not sure who that is, frankly, but there we go. Put that down. Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going nowhere. I paid my contributions and I'm not getting hustled by you. Right, army surplus morphine, yeah. We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. Ugh. 
is he denying that he's got all that morphine there? He, let's accuse him, damn it. You distribute for the Jews. You're a patsy. I don't know what you're talking about. I distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Right. Distributor identified. Morphine for distribution. Was that found here, though? <laughs> identified IOU note. It must be this. The morphine for distribution. If this is a shakedown, I wish you'd get on with it. I can call my man from the 77th Division and have this all cleared up. I don't get it. What IOU? Ramez seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. Oh, God. I'm going to good cop him. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wire service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and shift dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. You're not the guy we want, Merlin. But we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you. And fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. I mean, your establishment is full of morphine, young man. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. Oh, dearie me. Okay, um... What are we going to do? Look at the book. Numbers operation. I thought we'd... Ah, uh, but that, that's here. Let's go back. Go back. We're going in here. Hmm, there's something there. Get the ball. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Uh. Look at these. Cohen took over the wire service from Siegel, right? I don't know who those people are. I've been all over this place, so let's look at the notebook again. We found a couple of clues, but no, you see, it's still... Well, perhaps we have to come back here later on. That has happened. All right, let's go then. What we will do is go to the booking agency. So this is the booking agency. Very dirty windows. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent. It's a bit of a dive, isn't it? We are seeing the seedy side of the city here. So we want what? Right, 238. Here we are. Jermaine Jones, 238. Right, okay. Looking at anything there? No. Keep going round. Oh, this is very private eye, isn't it? There we go, Jermaine. Oh, bloody hell. Barging in. Hey, who let you in? Hello, sir. Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now, you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Yes, technically. Search the place, Cole. Technically. <laughs> they don't care. What do you think you're going to find, policeman? Huh? Well, these guys look a bit zonked out, don't they? They look completely out of it. Let's just do a walk around clockwise. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. I've honestly forgotten why we're here. There's something there. Scott Phantom. Ah. Fine radio. Short wave AM and FM. My father has a Scott. Yeah, so we've got to look at the clues, don't we? Uh, there. 
radio station note. 275 FM. Come out. 275. All right, so move that. Good. And then that's on and off. It's tune. Oh, hang on. Let's let's go over and switch it on first, eh? Nice. Over and over. Well, where's 275 on here? Oh, down the bottom. So that's 270 there. 75. Damnation! Good God. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brandon! Wilt! Get over here! Take these out. Oh, they've woken up. You heard the boss. <laughs> Not looking forward to this. Why aren't we just shooting them? Is this the best you got? These mugs are dope to the eyeballs. Oh, my grapple attack. Grapple attack. Come on, come on. Beat these yeah, sons good. of bitches down. I think they're drug addicts. Stop resisting, asshole. You're only making it work. Sit tight, asshole. That was a bit random, Pretend wasn't it? at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. Uh, right, new objective to interrogate. Well, let's look at all this. Ooh. Too much for felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply. I don't know what it is. Is that opium or or marijuana? Not sure. Up there. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. So Ramez was the name on that IOU, wasn't it? Uh, let's look at the middle thing. Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man, Jermaine. And over here. This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. Well, yeah, they didn't seem very lively, did they? <laughs> they did not seem lively. And some cash. Ooh. How many starving musicians pay with... Perfect clean fifties. Gosh, five grand in there. Anything else? That's about it, isn't it? Let's come away. Now, let's go and chat to him. Lamont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone and Cornell are dead. Hmm. They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. You offering me a deal. I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're 110. Imagine the changes you'll see. <laughs> I get the message. How much is this going to cost me? Oh, God. I don't know. How much do we take in bribes? Um, right, army surplus morphine. Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. Oh, of course you bloody well do. Oh, bloody hell. I think you and your cronies are responsible for the theft from the wharves. If you want to save your skin, stop lying to us, Jones. So, I look like some kind of criminal genius to you. That what you're saying, motherfucker? Prove that I was in San Pedro and that I stole that shit. Ah, uh, I can't do that, can I? Let's back out of this. I want to back out. Sorry. Sometimes <laughs> you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. There you go. Yeah, I just pressed square to back out. Let's bad cop him, though. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein. Lenny the Fink. Finky's dipshit brother-in-law. Oh, we got that all right, though. Uh, involvement of Otty. Forgotten who he is. Um, let's go for it. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. 
Hmm. Ah, uh, shifty shifty. Bad cop him. You either rat out the oh. next link in the chain, or you spend the rest of your life in jail. Are you gonna put that in writing, asshole? Damn! <sighs> Link to Remez. What's the score with Remez removals? I brought a radio from there. That's all. Yeah, he's looking funny. So he looks all right, and then he starts putting these faces. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna bad cop you, sir. So when we visit Rem as removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you two. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? No, not at all. Take them all in. We have a deal, right? What deal? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. He wasn't cooperative at all. I don't understand why we're handing out deals. Good, good. We're done here. Right, um, do I need to... Yeah, I need to find a phone, don't I? Oh, sorry about that. Where is the phone? There should be one right behind me. Oh, there we go. It was right behind me. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez. R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez Removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Thanks for your help. Good, well, let's get there then. Let's get there. Well, it's quite a big operation. I thought it would be a man with a van. LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. Okay, God, we've got a chase. <laughs> we got another chase. 11K calling KGPL. Yeah, let's get going. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David yeah. Charles, 457. Roger, 11K. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Oh, here we go. What does this lunatic think he's doing? Oops. We're not playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Okay, we aren't shooting. Whoa. So we killed the man in the back. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. <laughs> Good God. This escalated very quickly, didn't Hit it? Hit Clear this asshole off the road. I'll try for the tires. Yeah, Keep your on. foot down. Come on, that's it. Stop, stop, stop. Get out. Get out. Come on, stop the bloody car. Jeez. Let's go and get him. Okay, chum. Put your hands in the air. Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Well, I believe Save it. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're going to take a look around inside. Oh, we didn't have to search the whole place, do we? Uh. Alright, let's make a start. <laughs> oh, something there. Good, good. Remez removals. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Polar bear ice. Not a polar bear ice. Uh, all right, Merlin Otty, four crates. Wow, Merlin Otty's done loads of business. The blue room. Um, 
Well, let's... Let's choose the Polar Bear Ice Company. Why is Ramos buying so much ice? Yeah, good question. Nothing else really looks... Three large crates. Yeah, that was the blue room. Let's go to Otty. Well, and Otty is buying a lot of furniture. He is. Oh, that was it. Oh, something else there. All oh, right, okay. So it's one of these newspaper stories. Excellent. In these newspaper stories, we've been following this crooked psychiatrist who's selling illegal drugs to his patients. So this presumably is where he's getting his drugs from. Couldn't you think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. Are we gonna fight, kid? The two of you versus my boys here? I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, it looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. I love their tones. We have you an infilate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of stake? It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. Oh, yeah, look. Up here. Ah! If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. And a $300 tie. Some Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm-mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now, so don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. I told him. Jeez. Is that guy your idea muscle, kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand-to-hand -hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the Six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. <laughs> Burn. Yes, I got that the wrong way round. It was the psychiatrist who was getting sort of medicinal morphine and selling it to the gangsters. And that guy we saw there, the one chatting to the gangster just now, he's the assistant to the psychiatrist. Anyway, let's put that down. Start looking around again. Place is massive though. What's with the puddle? Oh, Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? What water? Oh, there we go. There's a puddle. I'm standing in it. There must be a way through the back. Let's follow the water around. Oh, ice. Is this melted ice? Are they shipping the drugs in ice? Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. <laughs> well, we seem to have lost the water. What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. Oh, the fridge is here. We look in the fridges? No? Damn it. Water, water, water. And it stops. Is there anything in here? Oh. Okay, well that's... Oh, here we go. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. Picks up 20 again. 20 years out of fashion. Right, there's it's loads and loads of water. There's nothing. Oh, I thought it might be a false wall there. Oh, 
Oh, I thought we can go left. There's more water down there. Oh, good grief. Look at it all. This is useless. I can't see a damn thing. You need to get up onto the floor above. So we need to get on the floor above, do we? Uh, oh, we can go up there. Up we come. So we want to be looking down. be looking at hmm go around the side is that something over there okay okay I think we've got a game here let's run round I think we've got to move that crane thing yeah look those are controls for the crane there we are. But where do we move stuff from? Uh, yeah, what are we doing? Um, perhaps the game will give us a clue. Yeah. Oh look, there's um, there's a room there. Can we move that? Can we move that? I'm trying to unblock that door. So this is all automatic. This bit. Can I put it down? Stick it over here. Oh no. Get down here. There's a cold room in the back. Ah, excellent. Excellent deduction there. I'm quite pleased with myself. Whoa. Normally these kinds of puzzles really stump me. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're going to want to see this. But I've not had to cheat once in this game. Here we go, here we go. I thought so. Ice. Ice, ice, ice. Look at all that. That's all the stolen morphine. Oh, chilly. Do I have to do anything? Oh, there was a tingle then. There's something frozen inside. Really? <laughs> you can tell he's a detective. Oh, we're going to shoot it, are we? Nice. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, so what were we expecting exactly? Oh, there's something else there. Oh, the tingle. Yeah, we know what it is. This must be how they transport the morphine. Really? I notice he bites his nails. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. <laughs> He's making a run for it. Let him have it. Not another chase. Apprehend him. Uh, can't see where he went. Damn it. You're clear, go. I can't even see him. Oh crap. God almighty, I didn't realise he was armed. But why did that polar bear truck pull up when there's a policeman outside? That's a bit stupid. 
Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Oh, she's turning into a long case. The factory is closed. Has been for years. Not much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators. Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? Damn! <laughs> well done. One way of announcing we're here. Well, I got another shoot out, do we? Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Okay, let's get him. Come on in and get massacred, oh. oh, suckers! <laughs> We have to apprehend him or just kill him. Eyes open. He's around the here somewhere. What's the matter? Did someone who just kill these assholes already? Give me some goddamn cover. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Oh, he's moving. There he is. Blast him. Stay down. And again. Ah. Let's go pick his weapon up. Just pick it up. Pick it up. I'm wide open here. What are you talking about? Where is he? Ah. Through here. I ain't running out of friends or guns in here anytime soon. Clear me some space here. Where is he? Weapons on the ground. Phew. I'm gonna crouch. Okay. Come out. Asshole. I'm gonna find you. Keep moving. I c come, on, come on, stay. What the hell happened then? Get behind the. Get, You're stop it. For a dead man. There he is. Let's see if I can't pull one right to the garage. Yeah, come on, come out. You're pretty brave. Whoa. All right, there's people Give me upstairs. Some goddamn cover. People upstairs, I can't see them. Let's move out. Give me some cover! On, God damn it! Keep shooting! I want him dead! Oh. I'm gonna put holes in you, asshole! I can't see anyone upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Is he down? If you die, boys, I walk! I'm wide open here! Be oh, I don't Find know what he's talking cover. about. I'm looking up at these gantries, I can't see anyone. Real clever asshole. I'm gonna find you. Oh, it's very difficult to move around. Stay in cover. Can we hurry it up, please? We have to get upstairs. Ah, oh, fuck. No, there's no one up there. You see? Well, there is someone up there. I can't see them. Oh, here's the stairs. Oh, I've dropped my shotgun. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop to peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? Soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Ah! Okay. Damn it! <laughs> He took me by surprise. I thought my partner was going to kill him. No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Yep, let's do it. Don't kill let's get one. Phew. Nice let's one. Let's have a look around. Now that we finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Oh, hey, what's something here? Oh, here it is, 2,000 styrets. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. Crap! So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. Oh, good. As senior investigator, I'll do this. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, we cracked the case. Isn't it a little bit elaborate, putting it in ice like that? Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? 
This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. Excellent. Well done, Phelps. But yeah, why not put the styrets into ordinary crates rather than blocks of ice? Well, there we go. We got all but one of the clues and just over half the questions, right? So yeah, I was quite pleased with that. That was a four star one, distinguished. So that was Phelps' first vice case. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll enjoy the next one. But until I see you again, I shall say good night. Okay then. Cheerio.